Let's have a look and see how we're going to work out the surface area of a pyramid. So remember surface means everything on the outside and area, well we know how to do area. So if you had to look at this shape, you have to imagine what kinds of shapes you would see. So for example at the bottom you would see that kind of shape which could be a square or a rectangle depending on the way that the teacher sets up the question for you. So we've already got one rectangle and then if we had to look at this shape here, well that's going to be a triangle. So there we would have another triangle and there's the third one and then lastly we have another triangle over here. And so all in all we are going to have four triangles. Now those triangles might not have the same dimensions. So just look out for that. For example, if this, if this is a rectangle then it means that this length over here, so that length might be 3, whereas this length might end up being 4 for example. And so the two triangles, this one and this one over here, will have different bases and so their areas will be totally different. So you don't want to just work out the area of one triangle and then times it by four. Unless it's a square because then all the triangles will be the same. So let's say for example we wanted to work out the area of this triangle over here. Well that would look like this, okay? So I've gone and I've isolated it over here. And so if we wanted to work out its area you would use half base times height where this length over here could be taken as the base and then the height would be this over here, alright? But now you've got to be careful because that height over there, if you had to look on the pyramid, is going to be this part over here, is that part over there and not this part over here. It's not the height of the pyramid from the top right down to the middle, it's the part that goes down the side of the pyramid, like that over there. So what often, what teachers often like to do is they'll give you this height over here instead, which is the height from the very top of the pyramid, so this point over here, down to the middle of the pyramid, okay, so in the middle of that square or that rectangle. But then they somehow are going to expect you to know what this length over here is, because that's the height that you're going to need if you want to work out the area of this triangle. So how do we link them? Well, it's easy. All that we do is we do this. We just pretend that there's a little triangle over there. That triangle would be a 90 degree triangle because that purple line is going vertically. And so the red part, that would have a length of 2 because it's going to be half of that number. Remember we said that the teacher would have given us the height, which is the purple part. And then we just use Pythagoras to find the blue part. And then you would have the, the height that you need for your triangles. And then you could work out their, all of their different areas and then the area of the rectangle at the bottom would be very easy and then you could just add everything together to give you the total surface area. Please remember that the the rectangle that I've that I've shown you at the moment with the turquoise blue line that length will be different to the length of this triangle. Okay and that's because this length over here is a 4 and this length over here is a 3. But you could do the same technique of using the Pythagoras triangle to find the length of the turquoise line over there. So just remember the summary of the video is when doing surface area, the height that you want to use for your triangle is the slanted part that goes along the surface of the triangle and not this purple part that goes from the top of the pyramid straight down to the bottom.